Hi guys, Josh from TT101. Today I've got something cool to bring to you guys. We actually just received this at my store. I work at the Big R of Homer Glen in Homer Glen, Illinois. Um, this is the Caltech RDB. And uh, this is a really cool bullpup design and I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit about it. Now I don't really get into Caltex all that much. I, I don't like to knock on uh, gun manufacturers, but Caltech, in my opinion, over the years, I'm not saying anything about their new production um, firearms, have been pretty chintzy if you ask me. They kind of like are more or less toys if you like as far as construction goes. But uh, this one in particular is pretty darn cool, and I think they hit this one right on the head. So uh, I'm gonna talk to you guys about it, and I'll go over some of the features. Now it does have a one and seven twist barrel. It also is side charging as well. You've got this that pops out right here and allows you to charge the gun. Um, it also has ambi bolt releases. It's on this side and on this side. It's a lever, so you can press it down, and then it sends your bolt forward. And that would, in turn, pick up a round, and then you'd be ready to fire. Now, it comes with one Magpul P-Mag. This is a 20-round magazine. It will work with 30-rounders. It'll just stick down a little bit farther there. No big deal. Um, it, also, it also has ambi safety on both sides here. The trigger pull is actually not, not too bad. Um, you will hear a little bit of a twang in the back of the action because it is a bullpup design that's just inherent of a bullpup. So I can actually dry fire it once for you guys here. And it's really not that bad. Um, I was watching on the Military Arms channel. He was actually shooting this gun suppressed. And it was so quiet I couldn't believe it. And uh, I can't remember exactly which ammunition he was shooting, but if you haven't checked out that video, I'll actually link that in the de description below on this gun. It was a really good video. He, he did a great job with that one. And uh, one thing I am going to take from his video is that the magazine release on here is pretty interesting because you could either grab it like this and then grab another uh, magazine, or you could release it by just sending back your trigger hand and then it just pops it right out and then you can already be grabbing another magazine and you don't even have to make this extra motion to be able to reload your gun then which i find pretty sweet um all in all this is a really really sweet bullpup and it has bottom ejection i don't know if i actually talked about this a second ago but that's what makes this gun so unique is that it ejects out of the bottom now most bullpup designs they're going to eject out of the side or even in the front which is even more weird if you ask me but most of them are going to eject out of the side now that will become a problem if you're a lefty lefty or if you had to use your less dominant hand and most guys are right-handed so it would be your left hand um because then you would have brass being spent right across your face. Now, they negated that problem by having it eject out of the bottom. Now, some guys are a little worried, like, hey, that might hurt my chest if it's if it's hitting me or it might hit my, my hand, like the Kelta KSG. That, that that gun leaves a giant welt on your hand if you're, if you're not holding it in the right spot, um, which is a problem. But this one, it's not the case. It actually, if you look where I'm holding it, um, there's a big opening right here, and it just, goes down and hits you in your chest, but it's not coming out at a rate where it's really gonna give you like bruises or burns or anything like that. Um, so I thought that was pretty cool. Now, as far as what comes in the box, you just get a plastic, uh, excuse me, a cardboard box with it, <laughs> nothing special. And uh, I'll just show you a couple things that come in here. You get, this is for, this is a sling. These are the little sling attachments. And you get a little bit of paperwork with it and a chamber flag. There's your chamber flag that comes with it. And then the paperwork and a Caltech sticker. So you don't get too, too much with it. One magazine, the gun, and then a couple other items. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to look down in the description below for uh, the link to my Amazon affiliate website and also to go watch the Military Arms uh, channel video on this gun as well. I did take some of the information from his video. It was very informational. He does a great job. And you guys stay tuned for more interesting videos.